Hi, this is Nikki. I am here to share the messages that I get from Spirit and from all of our higher selves on this journey to love. And so what I wanted to share today, if, you, if you're new to my channel, then one message goes into the next, into the next, into the next. And it's all of our higher selves that are helping on this journey to love. So anyone that comes to me for healing or for a reading, it's basically all our higher selves connecting together to piece together this amazing jigsaw. And to follow all of the signs that our higher selves and our twins are wanting us to follow to bring us back home. And they are our home. And the reason also is because they are your earthly guardian angel. So if you are ever in any doubt, always remember that it is your twin who is your guardian angel, as well as others. But your twin is too. Now, <laughs> I'm going to share some, some things because, again, it has totally spun me out. So, I said that I was sort of being driven to do these love letters from your twins. And this is a very specific one yesterday that came through that is applicable for everyone, right? So, look at this, because it says, and then I'm going to tell you why, because, again, following the jigsaw is just quite amazing. So, I am here, I am there, I am everywhere around you. You just need to open your eyes and look at the signs and messages that I put all around you. From a white feather to a singing bird to a song on the radio. I am always trying to find ways to show you how much I am here with you. Sharing my heart, sharing my soul, sharing my love. Look out for me, my darling, and have faith that we are on our path back to togetherness. And the song that came through was, We'll Always Be Together in Electric Dreams. Now, that was for a lady, right? Now, um, what happened, um, when I first started doing these, somebody sent me a song that came through, which was then um, King of the, uh, I can't remember, but anyway, it was just brilliant. Because <laughs> it was just such a fab message. Now, the same thing has happened again. Somebody made a comment and left a link to a song. Now, I've just looked at that song and it is called Deja Voodoo. <laughs> and it is by this guy. Again, because I haven't heard it, this is what's so brilliant. Because I don't, you know, it's American, so I haven't heard it. But anyway, the first thing is, is the length of the song is six minutes nine, so 69. And I've been saying that I was led to do this you know, after you can realise that everything in the journey is part of a plan, a divine plan, I keep saying. So you've just got to trust in the divine plan. Now, and I've been saying that I was led to this after I did, <laughs> was watching the notebook. Anyway, so, and the last message that I sent to, to my twin was saying, you are my Noah, right? Now, the second comment down is B, now, from B, B is also very, very specific and very special for, for me personally because it has links for me. But in the, I've also been saying that they will want to hunt us down. Right, now this is brilliant because the second comment down saying, it says, Noah Hunt. <laughs> the second comment down, I don't know whether you can see that. There you go, Noah Hunt. <laughs> So, basically, I was like, when I saw it, I was like, oh, you are joking. Noah Hunt and also the 69 right there on this song. So, I'm going to read you the lyrics to the song because also when I read the lyrics, I was kind of, again, really, really taken back because I've recently started involved involving in my healing. I've really, um, I've recently started doing chanting as well. And the chanting works as a vibration on a vibrational level. So, and that's been a recent thing after I did my last um, Reiki. Uh, I did a um, Holy Fire Karuna Reiki course and it's all part of the Karuna Reiki. Anyway, so, and this is what I mean because I'm getting a really, really strong sense basically of like, I now feel like I've got an army of divine counterparts all stood around me. And they're like marching with me. It's just the most bizarre feeling. I feel like I've got like literally hundreds of people behind me wherever I go. And um, 
Anyway, so people have come back to me about their letters and it's really, really, again, given me this even more confirmation, right? Because everyone's saying, oh my God, you're using the exact words that they used and like the, the exact phrases that they use and that is exactly how they speak and things like this. And I'm like, no way, that's just a mental, I mean, I mean, amazing, but also, of course, it also spins my head out as well because I've cu- I wasn't expecting it, right? So it's again, it's just, it just, but it does make me realize, it, it just gives me even more confirmation that it's basically all of your divine counterparts and my twin. I mean, just everything always has the stamp of my twin on it as well. Anyway, so this is the song. The song is Needles in My Heart, You Are a Spell on My Mind. Your powerful potion gets me every time. I toss and I turn and I can't sleep because your kiss burns through my dreams. Here it comes again. I don't stand a chance. Soul possession got me in a trance. Pulling me back to you, it's deja voodoo. Fire in the dark, pounding in my tre- in my brain. Driven by the chant, calling out my name. I toss and turn, I can't sleep, your kiss burns through my dreams. Now, the reason why that is so amazing is because I literally have just started doing the, I've started including the heart chanting or whatever chanting I'm guided to when I do your healings. So it was very specific that this lyric has got actually chanting in it because also that isn't a common thing, right, to hear about chanting. So, and that what the chanting does is it goes at a vibrational level to your soul, right? So it's about allowing you to let your soul, your own soul vibration chant loud, louder as well. So again, this is like direct confirmation from the twit from your twin soul saying soul possession because I feel your heart chanting. Chant and the lyric is driven by the chant calling out my name. So just amazing because basically in the mornings now I chant over the crystal grid um, as as part of, you know, a morning ritual kind of thing and um, and and including it into the healings. So it's all kind of like I'm like, no way. This is just brilliant. I love it. The other thing is, is that a divine masculine that I did a healing for. And um, you see, this is where I can see because I get because you guys let me know what's going on. I then can tell I then know that things are happening and shifting in reality. So, you know, all the time I get asked the question, but what is this? Is this how do they know in the physical? Do they know that they're a twin flame? Is it their, you know, what is this message from? Is it from their physical self? Is it from their soul self? And da da da. Well, the thing is, is that you have to think, you can't really think like that because you have to know that, you know, you are all one, right? And when you go through your process, you just have to think about your process of awareness, right? At a soul level, you always knew, which would pull you in the direction of certain things, right? So you're led, you have been led all your life to like certain things or to, you know, to drawn into certain things for a reason. It's because your soul is calling you. And so that's why you have to look at it from your um, from your twins point of view. It's the same thing. They are called to certain things because they have their soul calling. Now, whether they know on a, you know, a conscious level about a twin flame, I very much doubt it. Right? I didn't know for years about twin flames um, after I met my twin. It wasn't until, you know, fairly recently. But it didn't change the fact that I knew how I felt, you know, and that amazing, strong feeling that I knew that there was something different about him and I couldn't explain it, which is why you go off on this tangent of finding out. So that's the thing. So if you get a letter, like, so all of these letters that I'm doing are for $10 and it's a message from your twin, I basically tap into your energy. So it is your energies of your twin telling me what it's an it's basically a channeled writing so i send you a letter a picture of the letter right but um it is a it's a letter from your soul essentially so it's what their soul wants you to know um the other thing though which is so brilliant is a divine masculine that i did a healing for has come to me a few times 
And um, he sent me, he's moved location, but he's also um, ended his relationship with his karmic partner. So I can see, you know, he's, he's like validation, right? That things are shifting for people um, after, you know, a, a, a good, a significant time. It's, it was a marriage, you know? So ended that move location, changed location for his business. Anyway, the business is a number 43. His, his, the location of the new business is number 43, which is brilliant. Because 43 is my twin flame number, but also 43 is number 7, which is the soul. And it is your soul path, right? Not only that, but he is actually, he does, he's a tattoo artist. And um, so the reason why that was so significant to get this morning is because uh, my twin, uh, I said about this week, I've been feeling really strongly about um, our time in New York together and that he has a lot of regret about that. And I feel that he's been thinking about that a lot this week. Anyway, so the, the this Divine Masculine sent me the note that he's moving and that all of this has happened in his life. And he's moved his um, new business and it's number 43. And the, why it's so great is because when my twin came out to me to, to see me in New York, he said, let's get a tattoo together, and uh, which we didn't do. But again, it's another, you know, it's just, this is why I know that it's all of our higher selves, basically working together, right? Giving each other little messages, giving each other like, literally like Hansel and Gretel, right? Dropping pieces of clues everywhere for us to help. Which is why this letter is so perfect that it came through because you have to realise that they are your earthly guardian angel, right? They want you to live the best life. They want you to be as happy as you can be. So I'm going to read out this letter again because this is so significant for everyone on this journey because it says, uh, this is from somebody's divine counterpart. I am here. I am there. I am everywhere around you. You just need to open your eyes and look at the signs and messages that I put all around you. From a white feather to a singing bird to a song on the radio. I am always trying to find ways to show you how much I am here with you. Sharing my heart, sharing my soul, sharing my love. Look out for me, my darling, and have faith that we are on our path back to togetherness. Oh! And the song that came through was, We'll Always Be Together in Electric Dreams. Well, that is the message. Remember that they are all around helping you on your journey back home. So if you want to have a letter from your divine counterpart, then it's only $10. The link is in the description box. If you want to have healings or reading, then please do. And again, there's no perfect confirmation for me than the fact that this actual lyric of this song has driven by the chant that is calling out my name, right? You are literally, the more you raise up in your vibration, the more your, your soul vibration is singing to your twin. So if you need help with that, then please do come to me. I'd be very happy to help as many people as I can. If you have ordered um, a letter, then you'll be receiving it over the weekend. Um, so I will be doing them all over the weekend. All right, I hope that helps. And thank you again to everyone that's coming to me because again, it's all of your confirmations. And I seriously can sense that it is getting super strong. I literally, no joke, I really do feel like when I'm walking, when I'm in a room, when I, I feel like there's like hundreds of people around me. I'm like, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. You want to stay on track. All right, I understand. So, which is why they say, don't fall off the path, stay on it. Know that they are your earthly guardian angel. All right, take care. Bye.